Rheumatoid arthritis is um, a very common disease, and we have many treatments for rheumatoid arthritis, but there's a substantial subset of patients that still have disability, have pain, and are not in remission. So the goal of this study was to look at a new way of treating rheumatoid arthritis. One of the major findings in the study um, was that we can target endothelial cells, which are cells that line blood vessels, to increase the barrier function and increase vascular integrity uh, such that we can limit inflammation in a model of inflammatory arthritis. Dr. Berg chose to target the cells that line blood vessels as an approach to prevent blood vessels from allowing inflammatory mediators to escape, get into the joint, and cause joint destruction. So what we found was that uh, when we use small molecule um, agonists of this molecule and endothelial cells called S1PR1, uh, that we could lower the amount of inflammation in the joint, and that when we uh, blocked S1PR1 uh, with an ag antagonist, uh, we could uh, increase the inflammation in the joint. Um, and when we used experimental models in which uh, S1PR1 was knocked out specifically in endothelial cells, the model got worse. And when we overexpressed endothelial cell S1PR1, the model got better. So all of this data points to the concept that endothelial cell S1PR1 limits inflammation in arthritis by increasing vascular integrity and decreasing the, uh, the amount of inflammatory mediators that are getting into the joint. The endothelial cells that line the blood vessels, they're stuck together by like a Velcro. And this S1P receptor keeps the Velcro pieces stuck. And what Natalie discovered is that in inflammatory situations, the Velcro unsticks. And she discovered the molecule that causes the Velcro to fall apart. And that the S1P receptor helps that, turns that molecule off. So it keeps the Velcro intact. So that's a whole nother target of treatment.